In this video, I'll be demonstrating how I use Photoshop to simplify photos for the purpose of laying out a painting. Although there are other apps and programs that can be used to do similar things, and I've mentioned some of those in other videos, Photoshop makes a very effective tool for this purpose. After we have opened the photo that we're going to convert, the default view is going to look something like this. There are a lot of controls here, but primarily we're going to be interested in the Layers panel. Photoshop has already created one layer automatically with the photo on it. We're going to be adding layers on top of that to change its appearance while leaving the original photo intact. If for some reason you don't see a Layers panel, you can go to the pull down menu under the window tab in the top bar and make sure that layers has a check mark next to it. First, we're going to take the color out of the image. At the bottom of the layers panel, there's a circle icon that is split into black and white. And we're going to create an adjustment layer by holding down the right mouse button and choosing black and white and releasing. You'll see another layer appear over the photo layer and the image turn into black and white. Photoshop will also open a new window with color sliders and other buttons that let you adjust how the program interprets different colors during the conversion. You can leave this alone or you can play with it a bit. I sometimes find that moving the red slider opens things up a bit especially when there are flesh tones involved. When we are happy with the conversion, we can close this window. Now we're going back to the layer panel and create another adjustment layer. But this time we're going to choose levels. Curves would also work here, but that's a little more complicated to use. Photoshop will create this adjustment layer and bring up a properties panel. For now we're just going to close this, leave the image unchanged, and move on. Next we're going back and create yet another adjustment layer. This time choosing Posterize from near the bottom of the drop-down menu. By default, Photoshop will convert the image into four levels of value, white, light gray, dark gray, and black. In the properties box, we can test the effect of more or fewer levels of gray by moving the slider or typing in different numbers. With a high number, there are so many value steps that the picture is indistinguishable from a continuous tone image. At the extreme left, at 2, Everything must be interpreted as either pure white or pure black. I found that most of the time, three levels works for me in laying out a painting, keeping things from getting too confusing. In practice, a toned canvas can serve as the middle value, and I only have to put in the darkest values and pick out the whites. So we'll put in three and close this properties window. The beauty of Photoshop is that we can now go back and modify any of these layers that we've created, and that's what we'll do. By double-clicking on the little histogram icon in the Levels layer, we can reopen the Properties box that controls it. Now, by moving the middle slider, we can adjust how Photoshop chooses when to break from one value into another. Where to put this is a subjective decision, and that will vary according to how you are going to want the foundation of your painting to appear, and where you want, or don't need, guidance for your initial drawing. At this point, we're essentially done. But let me share just one more trick. It's optional, but it can make a big difference. If your original photo had a lot of small details, or possibly just a ton of resolution, 
you may still have more small unimportant shapes than you really want to deal with. Here's the solution. Go to the layer of your original photo and drag it on top of the plus icon at the bottom of the layers panels. This will create a duplicate of that layer that will sit on top of your original effectively substituting for it. I like to relabel this new one. I'm going to call it median. Now with that layer highlighted we're going to the top menu and from the filters drop down menu we're going to choose noise and from the submenu median. This will bring up a median box and another slider. Moving this to the right excludes larger and larger groups of pixels from the overall calculation until the picture becomes completely abstract. So you probably want to keep this pixel number small. We can toggle this layer on and off with the eyeball icon to decide what we like best. That's it. I'll always save this work as a Photoshop file with the ending .psd. It's a large file, but I can go back to it if I change my mind about anything. I'll also save a copy of the converted image as a JPEG for easier handling and rename this something like black and white poster. I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time.